First question is from Luke Callahan. What are good ways to phase workouts besides strength and hypertrophy? I'm still stuck in the home gym with limited weight. Oh, man. Some of the best ways to phase your workouts have nothing to do with strength or hypertrophy. I mean, I do want to be clear that, you know, training uh, appropriately and properly, especially with resistance, is gonna, it's going to contribute to strength and hypertrophy, but you can focus on different things. And the idea with a phase is that it's essentially a small goal, right? So for the next three weeks or four weeks, my small goal is to maximize strength or to build you know, muscle through the pump or hypertrophy. And some of the best ways to phase your workouts are like mobility, movement-based, speed, power-based, uh, work capacity-based. Stability, mm. isometrics. You know, there's a lot of different things that you can go through a phase. Like they're just focused on that, on those things instead. And you know, I know you alluded to like it. It, it they're they're not uh, strength or hypertrophy based, but almost any pursuit is going to have some of that carryover no matter oh, what. Oh, and, and what's great about it is, you know, most people that work out, they are usually interested in both strength and hypertrophy. Mm -hmm. Most people want to build muscle and like to be stronger. Most of those same people don't really think a whole lot about improving their control, their stability, their mobility. Maybe they don't even think too much about increasing their proprioceptive ability, which is kind of knowing where your body is in space. And so they don't focus on those things. They don't really ever phase those into the workouts. And the side effect of that is actually don't get as much strength yeah. and hypertrophy because they all contribute well, are to they, that. Are they alluding to the fact that you could focus more on endurance and also power as totally. like other options, right? So, uh, you know, to really like use those that, that same load, but now move it quickly, do way less reps, like be composed in between. So that's a whole nother way to, uh, you know, address your training and get fast twitch response. Yeah, now one of the, one, I mean, one of the best ways to address kind of everything is to follow MAPS programs or MAPS workout programs in succession, right? So if you worked out for the whole year and followed four or five MAPS programs, you're probably going to hit pretty much every phase uh, that, you can, that you can think of that contributes to athletic performance, muscle building, strength, stability, mobility, all those things. I mean, you, you know, you can start with MAPS anabolic and then go to MAPS performance, MAPS aesthetic and throw and hit or strong. Anywhere, suspension. Exactly. And you're going to work on all these different aspects of, uh, of, of your body. And what that ends up uh, producing, visually at least, is a very balanced aesthetic physique. You end up developing a very balanced body, uh, re dramatically reducing your risk of injury. And then you get this kind of strength that is not injury prone. I, I'm, one of the, one of the, the negatives of only ever focusing on strength and hypertrophy, for example, is sometimes you tend to develop, you definitely can develop lots of strength that way, but it can be more injury prone. And you see this a lot in strength athletes where they push their bodies with strength constantly and then they get one injury and it's a repeating injury. Like, oh, my back tends to get hurt quite often or my hip now is you know uh, producing problems for me. And that's because they don't really dedicate you know, a three or four or five week period of time on something other than strength and hypertrophy.